before the upcoming school year, the superintendent in Miko is reminding families about his district's alcohol and drug policy. Kevin Sims says he wants to control what he calls the marijuana problem. Fox 25's David Chazanoff joins us now after speaking with the superintendent. David, what'd you learn? Adam and Wendy, Sims tells me this is being brought up because last year more students failed their drug tests and some staff members caught students distributing marijuana gummies. I'm not criticizing someone for using that for medicinal purposes. However, it's, it's wreaking a little bit of havoc in schools because it's become so accessible. Following state law, Minko Public Schools Superintendent Kevin Sims says no student shall use, possess, display, or be under the influence at school, on the bus, or any school-sponsored activity. If we catch a student using the drug, um, then we're going to discipline appropriately. District policy states first-time violators will be suspended for 10 days. According to Sims, second-time offenders will receive a semester-long suspension, and if someone gets caught breaking the rules for a third time, they can't return to school grounds for a full year. I had a superintendent, I don't want drugs in our school, period. Marijuana or, or whatever, I, I, it's, it doesn't need to be here. He says if drugs like marijuana gummies are brought from home, parents will be held accountable and law enforcement will be notified. We will contact law enforcement and say, hey, this child brought this from home. Obviously, the parents not doing their job, uh, so to speak, uh, in, in keeping that uh, stuff locked up away from the reach of the, of the children. Though Sims acknowledges that some parents have medical marijuana cards for their children. In that case, he's telling parents to have their child take the substance at home and not at school. But if it has to be taken at school, Sims says the parent can give their child gummies in the principal's office. So we do have some, some loopholes for students there if, if they do have a medical marijuana card. School starts here on August 15th, and you can read the superintendent's full message to families on our website right now at SoKCFox.com. Reporting live in Minko, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.